Hey guys, so um, now that you've taken pictures or either you've edited them um, and you need to present it on PowerPoint, so the best way that I've found and quickest way to do this is to have PowerPoint downloaded onto your phone and then um, PowerPoint, you need to sign in using your school account. So um, that way you can use it for free. So first thing, open PowerPoint. And the next thing you need to do is make sure that you apply a blank presentation like this. And here you can see you've got this information. You actually don't need that. So what you're going to do on the bottom icon, row of icons, you've got that first uh, icon, which is called layout. So the first one, you tap that one and you scroll down and select blank like so. Now remember, once you sign on to your school account, this is all linked to your OneDrive on office.com. So you can then actually see this PowerPoint when you sign on to office.com to add more um, detailed uh, annotation and rearrange the whole thing as well. But for now, it's just like adding everything onto this page and then you can work it on to your computer later on. So um, to add an image, on the bottom row, you can see a range of icons. Um, there's one where it's got like a moon and a landscape. That's basically adding image. So you select that. And what that does, it will open your uh, gallery of photos. So I've been editing a range of images that I want to add to my uh, PowerPoint. So the first one that I'm going to do is scroll to the top where I first did my edit. Okay. So it's this one here. So select this image. Now you've got this cross button. You can move it anywhere for now, but at the moment, presentation isn't important. Once you sign on to your computer, then you can do that. Okay, so then I'm going to add another image, which is the screenshot that goes with it. So I'm going to press this image, and that screenshot basically goes with this image. And I'm going to put it next to each other so that I know that they are a group. Okay, and then I'm going to add another image. And you just repeat the same steps. Um, so I'm just trying to remember where all those photos are. So it was this one that I did next. And again, you add the screenshot to go that. If you want to enlarge it, resize it, you can. You just press the corner points to do that. Never, ever do it from the side points. It's horrible. Okay, so it takes it out of proportion. If you need to rotate it, the rotate button's at the top. You just hold that down and rotate it as you go around, like so. Right, so that's it. And then you just add the screenshot to go with it, which you just keep adding it in as you go along, like so. If you start to run out of space to add all the images and um, to add a new slide or a new page, there's a plus button at the end of that row um, and you just press that plus button, which is on that first row on the right hand side. And then that adds a new page. And the next thing you need to do is just keep adding those images in what you have been editing on. So I'm just going to add them as I go along. And just hold the cross button and tap on the screen to unhighlight it and add the relating image that I did a screenshot with and you move that along here, okay? Um, so essentially for this homework, guys, what I want you to do is to present at least um, a total of eight different filter application and you present it onto your PowerPoint page. And I want at least four in a row, if you can fit them like this, and four along here. The more you add, the more marks you get for your coursework. Um, once you go onto computer, you do need to start annotating them. So what did you do on this edit? What um, filter was it? Okay. And if you're not sure and you can't remember, just go back to Snapseed and look at look for it there. Um, so for this first one, which we both remember, um, it's the tuning image. You can actually see that information from that screenshot. It just gives it away pretty much. So um, you select the text box which is on the bottom row, and you can see that letter T with a box around it, select that. And what that does, you can add in text, so tune image. So 
sorry, so tune image. And you can explain, I have adjusted the overall exposure. Just a brief sentence of what you have done. Then you move that image by using your fingers and then putting it over there like so. When you go on a computer, the text size um, should not be uh, bigger than size 14 because this was going to be printed on A3 paper. So you want all of these um, images to be nicely laid out and writing not too big and just keep it nice and neat. Okay. So I want four images in a row, something like this. If you can fit another three more, fantastic. Um, and make at least two to three or even two to four pages of your images like so. And when you write a sentence, just say what filter you chose and briefly explain how you've um, adjusted it. Okay, and that's pretty much it in terms of how you edit. Next step is how to save it um, onto OneDrive. So this is all naturally going to be saved on your OneDrive. Um, so to do that, on the top corner where the three dots are, select that and you will um, save this, press the save button and you will rename this, so filter experiments, okay? And you will um, go to your documents folder here and you need to create your own uh, folder where it's just your photography stuff. So for some of us, um, I've got like a 9PT2 folder, I've got GCSE photography folder. So you can save it in there. And once you're happy with that, then you tap on that folder and then click save. And at the moment, I'm not connected to the internet to avoid uh, any notifications coming through my phone in this video, but you just press the save button and it should be updated to your OneDrive. Once you press the save button, you then go onto your computer, go onto office.com, sign in using your school account and look in your OneDrive account to find that file. And you should see it there and you can start editing it from your computer. And then from then on, once you've done all of that, you need to obviously upload your work onto your assignments. So to do that, you need to go to MS Teams, go to that assignments and attach that work from the OneDrive um, account not from upload from device. You need to connect it from your OneDrive and you will see that when you press add work and you'll see a OneDrive option there. Okay, and that's it guys. Thanks.